Soren Kierkegaard wrote what I call a negative sermon in his journals. He says, Instead of all this preaching about lofty virtues, faith, hope, and love, and about loving God, etc., someone should rather say something like this once. Never get involved with God, and above all, never in any really intimate way. Get involved with people, and imagine that together with them you are involving yourself with God. Never let yourself be alone with God, lest you venture too far out. But see to it that your God relationship is like everybody else's, so that you can get someone to assist you right away if God should leave you in the lurch. Never involve yourself with God so long that any spiritual trial has a chance to begin. If you think about God once a week and bow before him the way others do, I guarantee that you will never be subjected to spiritual trials. But for God in heaven's sake, never get involved with God in such a way that he becomes your only confidant, the only one you seek night and day to involve yourself with the only one to whom you are really prepared to make yourself understood, whereas you perhaps forget to chatter about understanding with people. Just suppose that he left you in the lurch when you had come to understand that he truly is the one and only help, and therefore you had not bothered about other helpers. Just suppose that he left you in the lurch. Just suppose that he did not exist. No, stick to the world of actuality. Don't go to church too often. Never go alone with God, for that is dangerous. He could make too strong an impression upon you, and it is not legally correct either, for in the relationship to God you must always make sure of having something to hold on to, so that he does not absolutely reduce you to nothing. Never pray to God in solitude, never so that your heart would prompt you to boundless confidence. No, learn certain formulas that you know for sure others have used to good advantage. If a person were to talk in such a way, he would talk far more accurately with regard to both the situation of most of the listeners and their wants than if he used all those high-flying phrases. That was from Kierkegaard's Journals and Papers 2, 1354, Papers 8A, 77, in the 1847. It was in Works of Love, translated by Howard Hong in 1995, published by Soren Kierkegaard in 1847, pages 416 and 417.